Attention, I interrupt my regularly scheduled news of the Troglavian invasion in EVE Online to bring you the news that now there is a brand new iteration to Project Discovery within EVE Online. The search for exoplanets has been put on hold, um, I'm not sure if it's indefinitely or not, but right now the capsuleers are given an opportunity to contribute to research on COVID-19. I'm sure everybody's aware that it's still a big worldwide concern right now, there's a race to produce a vaccine, and this citizen science project will help the research. So this particular iteration of Project Discovery uses data from a flow cytometer. The beginning tutorial breaks down what a flow cytometer really is, and it is a real equipment. I've had the privilege of using it in my own research, and what it does is that it takes a population of the cells and separates them based on visual markers. Personally, I'm very curious to find out what exactly are the details behind the data that we're analyzing here, but these are real flow cytometry charts from COVID-19 data, and analyzing this will help scientists gain more insight into how exactly our immune system is being impacted by this new coronavirus. I felt the tutorial was actually quite good at explaining what it is you need to do to analyze the data, and I'm amazed at how fast CCP was able to put together this new iteration in such a short amount of time. Just like before, the data you're analyzing is divided between the known samples which you are graded upon and the unknown samples which you then submit for further analysis. I don't know if it's just me because I have a kind of a background in this, but this seems way less ambiguous than the exoplanet search. You're just looking to separate what appears to be different clusters of cells. And when it comes to known samples, you don't have to be 100% accurate. As long as you're kind of within the ballpark, so far the system is rather forgiving although I did manage to get a few samples to fail. All in all, I think Project Discovery is a cool side game within EVE Online in all of its inter iterations, but in the current pandemic crisis, I think it's awesome that CCP is contributing more to citizen science and even more awesome that EVE Online players get the chance to participate in it and donate their free time to help with the research. Although this isn't as fitting to a sci-fi space game as the exoplanet search was. I think the flow cytometry data will find a bit of a wider EVE audience, particularly because it just seems to be a lot less technical than the exoplanet search. I mean, personally, that's why I kind of stopped playing Project Discovery in the past, because simply, as much as I tried, I couldn't spot the patterns. Quite possibly, <laughs> that's just me, though. But this COVID-19 research marks a third iteration of Project Discovery and a second biological one. We first kicked off the citizen science in EVE Online by helping analyze the human genome and the kind of proteins that are linked to genes. Then we went on to finding exoplanets and now we are helping solve the crisis of worldwide pandemic. If you have a chance, I urge you to check this out. It is open to both Alpha and Omega accounts. With each level up, you get one flow cytometry rewards crate, and at level 5, 10, 25, 50, and 75, you get a special unique gift. Personally, I already got my cool looking mask. That pacifier blueprint looks pretty cool too, and I'm sure that pacifier skin is gonna be worth a lot. You also do get a bit of isk every time you submit your analysis. I mean, it won't make you rich, but it's something. In a time when CCP turned off all the taps and built a lot more sinks, it's nice to see a little bit of isk trickling into your wallet. As for the flow cytometry rewards crates, every time so far I got a new biosecurity skin. And I've gotta say, for these easy access reward skins, these are actually very nice. I mean, they're not going to be too expensive on the market and so far all of them look pretty good on all the hulls that I have seen. Like look at this Vexor, I'm totally gonna use it on this ship. So that's the new project discovery, please log in, try it out, help the planet, and I'll see you in my next video. Thank you so much for watching.